Shifting focus now to the two NASA astronauts stuck in space for over a month now. Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore have been on the International Space Station for over 50 days. While efforts are being made to bring them back home, the astronauts are losing bone density and muscle mass while in space. You see, the absence of gravity leads to a rapid decrease in both muscle mass and bone density, resembling conditions like osteoporosis. For the astronauts stuck in space, this phenomenon is a major concern. Despite adhering to rigorous exercise regimes designed to counteract these, eff these effects, bone loss remains an inevitable consequence of prolonged space missions. In microgravity, bones no longer bear weight, which basically means they lose density as they are not subjected to the same stresses they experience here on Earth. And this leads to thinning of bone tissue, which then increases the risk of fractures. Williams and Wilmore's extended stay in space has worsened these issues. Their bone density could be decreasing at a rate faster than on Earth. But that's not all. Microgravity presents several health challenges for astronauts, worsened especially by extended stay in space. Among others, fluid redistribution is also a concern. It leads to facial puffiness, decreased fluid volume in the legs, and these changes can disrupt cardiovascular function, complicating blood pressure regulation when they return to Earth. Microgravity also affects the urinary system. Fluid shifts and altered metabol metabolism increase the risk of kidney stones. Further, hormonal changes and shifts in the gut microbiota can further complicate nutrient absorption and overall health. And what's more, astronauts in microgravity also experience changes in spatial orientation, balance, coordination, space motion sickness is common initially, but used, usually resolves as the astronauts adapt. If that is not enough, space missions can expose astronauts to higher radiation levels than on Earth. And that increases the risk of DNA damage and cancer. Currently, NASA is closely monitoring the health of the astronauts. Additionally, research is ongoing to develop more effective countermeasures such as pharmacological treatments and advanced exercise protocols. Needless to say, the longer Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore stay in space, the higher the risk to their health upon returning to Earth. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.